Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people please. Welcome back and hello if you are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing my holiday coffee bar, aka my hot cocoa station. I'm turning my coffee bar into a hot chocolate area because for the holidays, who doesn't like a nice warm cup of hot chocolate? Especially if you have little ones, this will be a top hit this holiday season. My five-year-old has been making a hot chocolate every single night and she normally isn't one to really drink milk. So this has been definitely an amazing thing for us. She's been absolutely loving it so the first thing I did was I removed all of my existing decor and then I'm kind of styling around the background with some decor so I did like a wooded board I add this little um glitter Christmas tree and a little sign it's a chance to start over new because I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. After I hand washed all of the jars I was going to be doing, it was time to begin our Cricut DIY. These Cricut vinyls are perfect for creating any type of signage, letters, labels that you like of choice. You can use them for home organization or you can use them for DIY projects as I am doing today. It was extremely hard to find things to add to my coffee bar and hot cocoa area that have the exact wording that I was going to be needing. So this is where it came in handy. I went ahead, found some really cute SVG files and I got working so first you're going to take your desired color of vinyl stick it right onto your Cricut mat and then you're going to go into the Cricut app and begin searching your SVG files that you either created or that you purchase I like to purchase mine Etsy it makes it really simple and easy to begin doing your projects so I'm using two different ones for two of my jars that are going to have peppermint and this one says you're the peppermint of course and then I'm gonna have some crushed peppermint in one of my wooded jars and then for the second one it's going to say to my mocha and that's actually where I'm going to be placing the hot cocoa and some marshmallows and then it was important for me to also do some custom labels of wording so I found my favorite fonts this went perfectly with my whole look and then I'm having one with stir sticks and the other one just to say cheers because in a large mug I could put straws stir spoons anything really of choice and then we're going to begin making our project you'll select the type of option what you're going to have I'm of course using permanent vinyl and then you click make and it'll begin cutting your project Isn't this how it's supposed to be making our Christmas memories oh and I've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be making our Christmas memories because I was going to be using two different color vinyls, I then removed the gold one after it did my desired cutting. And then I went ahead and placed my black vinyl on there and began cutting the wording that I was using for my little wood labels. Once your Cricut machine has cut any of your designs or labels, you're then going to just take some scissors, cut it on out so you can use the rest of your vinyl leftover for any future projects. And then you're gonna be taking your weeding tool. This thing, you guys, is so amazing and a total must have when you're going to be purchasing your first Cricut machine and then you're going to weed out all of the excess vinyl this way it only leaves your design or your lettering that you've created I've been hanging marbles in the tree and I lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home to me and when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play the once I weeded all of my excess vinyl, I will then begin cutting my Cricut transfer tape. This works great to be able to place now whatever letters and vinyl you use onto the surface of choice. Because I'm doing jars, I'm going to be cutting them each individually, placing the 
the transfer paper right onto my design. Make sure it's pressed on firmly on both sides. This way it will go on easily to whatever your project is. So for the very first thing, we're going to be doing the Sursex. They're chocolate and marshmallows, so they're delicious, not only aesthetic for stir sticks. And then I'm going to using these little wood tags that I found the other day at the store. And I feel like the black is really going to pop on there and stand out. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget it. For jar number two, I actually had you guys vote on over on Instagram if you wanted this vinyl to be either gold or black. A lot of you voted gold, that is why I went with that. But for the future, I would suggest maybe doing a black color because you'll see once I place the desired condiments and things that I need inside of it, it wasn't as visible and bright. Or you could even do a fun festive color like red or green for the holiday season. I think would look adorable on there, but this just gave it a nice soft neutral feel. And I just love how the labels turn out on each of these. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh. La 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 oh oh. Oh oh. La 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 la. Making our Christmas memories. Yes, these are the good times with you. After adding all of my crushed peppermint into the jar, place the lid. I also later on, you'll see I'm going to actually be adding a little wooden scoop to make it very easily for everyone to use their desired choice when they're making anything they need in this little station here. So then I peeled off. As you can see, when you use the transfer tape and your vinyl, it's just like a sticker. It becomes very easily to remove and apply to your surfaces. And this is permanent vinyl, so it is on there very safely and you don't have to worry about it peeling off or being removed in any way, so you can certainly use it for years to come. This little guy was definitely one of my favorites, a little gingerbread man. Next year, I'm actually thinking of turning my hot cocoa station into a whole gingerbread theme. So go all out on there. Let me know in the comments if you think that's cute and you're excited to see that for next holiday season. So now I'm using these toppers that I actually found at Hobby Lobby. They're delicious and they're absolutely adorable. And I think they make the little gingerbread man stand out really cute on this actual jar. And then lastly, I added my vinyl to this next wood little tag and placed it right on this very large mug and I placed my little um, snowflake straws that are reusable inside of there. Now that we're done with the right side, I like to work my way on the opposite side of my coffee machine to give a little more decor. So a faux little Christmas tree that's flocked was really cute to bring in some color. And then I used my um, chocolate bombs, you guys. These are a game changer when you're doing hot cocoa if you really want a whole experience. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you exactly how I make mine. So I'm just filling up the jar there and then I'm going to add a cute little Christmas sign on the opposite side. Now it is time for the fun part and seeing how our hot cocoa station is in use. And I thought I would do a little fun making of our chocolate bombs. For those of you that have not seen these, these were all the craze last year and they were crazy expensive, like $6 each bomb. But I recently purchased this multi-pack over at Costco for way more affordable. And you just place your hot chocolate, hot milk 
right on top of the bomb and slowly but surely you're going to notice it's going to sink to the bottom melt and break open with surprise marshmallows all inside it's fun it's exciting for kids and anyone kind of to have a little experience when they're over at your house to do something fun i like to sprinkle a little bit of peppermint on top total personal choice and then of course we're using our reusable straw to kind of mix all of the chocolate at the bottom in and lastly garnished with a really cute snowflake marshmallow Now for the after and showing you guys close-ups of exactly how my hot cocoa station for 2021 turned out. I'm really happy. It's natural. It's soft. It's warm for the holiday season. I think all of my vinyl labels with my Cricut machine turned out perfect and really giving it a custom feel to exactly what I personally like to have in my hot cocoa station. So you guys have your preferences. You can definitely DIY different types of labels to make it special to you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching give it a thumbs up if you did definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new here because this coming thursday we'll have decorating of my christmas tree and i will talk to you in my next one bye